we had all the kids out planting trees because, you know, we thought it was part of their education, you know, to teach them about the root system and also to give them a sense of responsibility, taking care of things, you know what I mean. And uh, all the trees, they just died. Every kid must learn about death at one point. Most kids learn when a grandparent or a pet dies. In the school by Donald Barome, the children learn this lesson well. They were orange trees. I, mean, I don't know how they died, they just died. Maybe the stuff from the nursery wasn't the best, or maybe the soil we got wasn't the greatest. We complained about it, and we've got 30 kids out there planting their own tree, and we've got 30 dead trees. <sighs> the kids were all looking at the little brown sticks. <laughs> it was depressing. As for the herb gardens, it was probably a case of overwatering, but you know, the children are very thorough with these things. And, well, I didn't like to think about it, and, well, I mean, it did cross our minds. It occurred to us that maybe we were uh, sabotaged. We were thinking like that because, well, before all the white mice had died, all the gerbils had died, and all the salamanders. Well, that teaches the kids not to carry them around in plastic bags. <laughs> you know, as for the tropical fish, you know, we expected those to die. I mean, that's no surprise. I mean, you look at those numbers crooked and they're belly up on the surface. You just have to hurry past it. We weren't even supposed to have a puppy. <laughs> we weren't even supposed to have one. It was just a puppy this Murdoch girl found under a truck one day, and she didn't want it to get hurt, so she brought it to the school, and as soon as I saw that puppy, I thought, oh no. <laughs> it's gonna last for two weeks. And that's what it did. I got it out of the school before the kids came. And then there was this um, Korean orphan that we got through the Adopt a Child program. <laughs> His name was Kim. And, you know, you put in a quarter a month and that was the idea. It was an unfortunate thing. I don't know how he died, I mean, it wasn't stated in the letter we got. And, well, they did suggest that we adopt another kid. They gave us some interesting case histories. But we didn't have the heart. <laughs> the class took it pretty rough, and they began to think, although I don't think anyone's really mentioned this to me directly, but they began to think that there was something wrong with the school. But I don't think that there's anything wrong with the school. It's just been a run of bad luck. And then there's the incident. The incident occurred when two boys named Tony Mabregardo and Matthew Wine were out playing in the new excavation site, which would be the new federal office building. And there were wooden beams stacked on each side and you get the picture. <laughs> There's a court case coming out of it and they're, the parents are complaining that the beams were poorly stacked but you know I don't know what's true or what's not. It's been a strange year.